hey plugin generation Mirko Russo, glanglab.com and welcome in a new Logic Pro tutorial. This time I'll show you how to correct the timing of a drums performance but I take drums only as an example because you can apply this technique to anything that has been recorded with more than one mic. The essential concept is that every action of the time correction processing that you must apply to a region will be applied to the other regions of the same instrument as well. Otherwise, you'll run into phase issues and non-synchronization problems. For example, speaking about drums, you must move a single snare hit so you have to correct that hit not only on the snare mic, suppose you have used only one, but you have to do the same move on every single region on the drums, on every single mic of the drums. But there is a quick way to do so, use groups. The use of groups is a way to bond together many tracks and synchronize them so that you must not repeat the same editing you have done on one of them onto all the other ones. So for the example I'm gonna use these drums performance with several tracks and um, I have played that purposely uh, not perfectly on time with the Logic virtual drums. First we must select all of the drums channels, not the bus, clicking and pressing command while clicking on each of them. Then we click here to add them on a new group. Then click again in the same spot and on open group settings. We can give a name to that group and we must check on editing and quantize locked. Now, if I edit a region in one of the tracks in this group, Logic will do the same to all of the others. Click on show flex and enable flex on the channels. For the drums you can choose Rhythmic. Click on the transients that you must move and then drag it. Of course, even though this tool is very well conceived, bear in mind that if the performance is very poor and you have to move the transients too much, some artifacts will be inevitably hearable. This is what I mean. If you want to use this technique on guitars or other instruments, use the flex time monophonic setting for single notes or the polyphonic setting for chords. Finally, if you prefer not to do these corrections manually, you can let Logic auto-quantize the material. Select the regions, then in the inspector area, which you can open pressing I, 
you can click on the quantize drop down menu and select the tempo. So that's all for this tutorial. If you find this useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to press the like button. See you in the next video.